Yo Rana, welcome to FMTT, hope you're all doing well. Uh, in this episode we're going to be playing Bora Bora again. And the reason for that is because it's a key match. They're kind of title chasers just like us. So it's just going to be all about Bora Bora in this one. So it might be a little bit of a short episode depending on how many goals get scored or not uh, in this one. So currently if we look at the schedule, I think it's the Rangaroa match, wasn't it? That was the last recorded one we did. We then drew with Fatahuku. Uh, we then uh, switched tactics against Union Rimitara, so we've got, um, rather than this narrow one here, uh, we've got the, this is kind of original we were running, we've got the alternative, we, we made a swap then for this alternative one um, based on FM Stag's tactic, which I mentioned in the Belfast video. So check out FM Stag's blog, it's really good, it's really good stories, some really good saves on there. But this is based on the tactic he showed me that I've adjusted and I've mentioned in the Belfast Celtic video as well. This is what we've got here. What Pereira was brought in to do as well. We brought him in on the left hand side to try and cover that. Um, I can't remember if I even mentioned that in the Rangaroa video or not. But basically, as you can see, we hit this kind of rough patch here. And when you look at some of these other games, you know, 1-1s, one 1-0s, one uh, you kind of losses here and there. It's not as it started well, but we're not killing off and then again. We can always go back to it uh, if we want to. But we tried it against Union Rimitara and we won 2 1. Then we beat uh, the Nukahiva Spearheads 5 1 with Bonin getting a hat trick, Perea getting a goal, and Vincent getting a goal. And then we beat Pepite 3 1 with Mulan getting a hat trick. And now we're going to try it against Bora Bora. It should give us more kind of possession and hopefully give us a chance against them after they beat us soundly last time. Was it 4 1? 5 1. They beat us 5 1. We don't want a repeat of that. So if you look at the league, we'll do if I click on it properly. They're only a point ahead of us now. We've managed to claw the gap back a little bit. So we could get first place if we win this one. The very worst case. We want to draw from this, uh, but a win is, is really where it's at. Uh, we've got some injuries. So Vincent's injured and Tony Barnin is injured. So for Vincent's injury, we're going to bring on Rue. Oh, we would have done. Oh, we slipped and done it wrong. Uh, where is it? Where's Parmentier gone? There he is. I'm in here for Vincent there. I mean, Sabatier gets on the bench. And Bonin is going to be replaced by, I guess, Nino Benoit. And he, in turn, is going to be replaced by Divo. He's running out of players now. Um, Benoit, how's he doing? Six for one. Heading for Putin. Heading 12. More of a target man, isn't he? Swap these two around. Please let me swap them around. There we go. Let's try that. And Pereira, we brought in from Union Rimatara, and he first game against Union Rimatara, he played really well. First game he had to play. So, yeah, this is the tactic. Got these inverted wingers here, Regista here, all winning midfielder. The Mazala, and then we've got the three up front, and I've adapted it from FM Stag's tactic. Go out and impress. Fascinating contest. Momentum is important. They're a threat, blah de blah. But Mulin can keep his form because he didn't give that hat trick. He's looking a bit unhappy, like he wants to leave. Let's see how we do. Well, they're in their away kit for this one, I think. Interesting colours of kits I've gone for. Okay, Benoit goes long for Bonin. Carton to boot in. Vidal there. Right, just knocking around a little bit, keeping possession until something opens up. Pereira's cutting in. Oh, just against the post. Very class. I'm a little sad that our kind of replicated tactic from FM12. 
falters a little bit. He's just not got the cutting edge with the players we've got, I think. I think it's a tactic we can go back to when we improve the squad a little bit more relative to the rest of the kind of league. But it just wasn't killing games off enough. Whereas this tactic kind of combines the three up front, like the Belfast battering ram tactic that I've got, um, but with also a bit more possession and still keeps the long ball in there. It's still quite aggressive, so it's a nice blend, I think. And we're going across to Pereira. Carton's only 15, but apparently he's a key player for us now. Oh, good try. Just hits the bar. Well, great. It's not Raises the bar. It was a good start. They almost got a goal regardless there. Let's see if we can keep this up. I just like it as a tactic. It's just, it's just nice. Moulin goes in. Doesn't get to anyone. Oh no. Kanak is through. Well finished. Tenth goal of the season. That was poor defending, really. That ball shouldn't have gone through. The keeper shouldn't be getting an assist. I mean, I'm impressed that the keeper's got an assist. But I'd like my keeper to do. But that was poor defending there. It wasn't Ruiz Parmentier. I know it was Vidal. Vidal didn't pick him up. Vidal is quite small. One of the areas I'd improve with forward if I could. for a goal down kind of against the runner play that one let's see what we can do in the second half don't want to make any subs right now striker wise we don't really have any options anyway so that's going to have to say the same Keck's almost through as well We're getting over us quite easily there's a penalty from Vidal Vidal being the weak link against Bora Bora come on uh, I don't think we're winning this. I don't think we're getting a draw. I think we're going to have to start working on just getting second place and going up through the playoffs. The Dahl's not having a good match. So I'm just going to bring on Bossinot for Renner. Yeah, and then I think I could maybe bring on Kamara. In the false nine position. Then maybe Martins. The Mazala. Why does he not let me look? Let me click on him. Let me click on any of them. Let's bring a Kamara for Benoit. Let's stick with that. He almost took the lead right at the start. At a very bright start. Now it's just kind of falling apart. Bora Bora are good there. They prepared their team for promotion quite nicely. I just don't want us to be here for more than a season. The title will be nice. There'll be no shame in not getting it so long as we go up. I think the longer we stay here, the harder it is going to be to get out of the championship. Because as the teams get relegated, they're going to get stronger and stronger. On Kamara, that was weird. Oh, sorry, we didn't look like he ever actually touched the ball. So, whilst this is better than five one, still a little disappointing. Um, Martins for Carton, I think. Part of this could be the age of the squad as well. We've got a very young squad, so Carton has come off, I think it's 14, 15. But then Martins has gone on, he's about 15, 16. So, yeah, 17. And we've lost. But yeah, Bonin. Okay, he's 26. He's 14. 16, 17, 15. It's 
to be honest, 22, so he's ancient. 21, also ancient. He has 15. I'm NTS 22, isn't he? Quite a lot of young, young players. So, you know, Benoit's also 14. Carton's 15. Renault's 29. It could be an age thing. That's why we bottled it against them. We could go all the way down to third. I think what the hero result was. Oh, never mind. So I still think we're in a good position in terms of getting second place. And if we look at the Premiership, what's going on there? Oh, Moria potentially getting relegated. It could be Moti One, it could be Jupiter's, it could maybe Chance, but it looks like it's between this kind of combination. Jupiter's, I reckon we could beat Moti One, I reckon we could beat. I'm not sure about Moria and Chance, even though Moria are bottom. They've traditionally been a pretty strong, strong squad. Um, they're one thousand two hundred and fifty-four all seater. So yeah, it'd be. Um, I don't want to count, you know, chickens before we get there, but I kind of have to assume that's what we're going to be doing, unless we can somehow overhaul or borrow based on other results. So we've only got one, two, three, four, five, six games left. I will probably come back for us somewhere around Uapo or uh, Tahuata, Madrid, uh, Madrid, Madre, um, because round right about here we should know what's going on. We need Boroboro to drop um, at least five points because it goes to results against teams first. They've beaten us twice. So it won't go to goal difference or anything like that between us and Boroboro. They will just be ahead of us. Um, if we're equal on points, so we need them to drop not just four points, five points. So then we need ideally two losses um, in that kind of run up. I don't think that's likely to happen, but we should basically know around about Ua Purse. That's why we'll come back. Um, and if by this point I already know we're definitely going to be second and we're not going to get the title, I won't come back for that. I'll come back for the relegation, uh, uh, relegation promotion playoff instead. Um, and we'll see where we get. So this has been a short season, just because I wanted to kind of get get through it. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, thanks very much for joining us, and I'll see you in the next episode.